It's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It's Thursday. And every time I think of all the stuff I need to do today, I'm starting to get, get a little like, <clears throat> but then it's like, okay, calm down. Just look at the to-do list and one thing at a time. <sighs> because I need to do laundry. I need to pack. I need to get a craft bag together for the trip because Friday, Saturday, Sunday, including seven hours of riding shotgun where I can crochet, I need to have, and like, I don't know if I will be able to just sit there and work on stuff all through the craft show, or if it'll be so busy that I won't have time to crochet, but I need to pack and I need to pack the car. And last night I got a surprise. Ooh. I got another puzzle proofing assignment. <laughs> so I have to spend about an hour today doing my quota of proofreading for that. And today is the day, the deadline for option number one, send receive of the mystery yarn challenge for October. So I need to sit down tonight and match people up. Last time that took about an hour, hour, hour and a half. Maybe with the second time it'll go faster. And I think there are a few less participants this month. We are, apparently there's a lot of people in the same boat as we are. We're October. There's expenses that come up in October that, you know, you need to be careful with your other expenses. So a few people have opted out because of expense. And other people, they're starting to gear up for fall craft shows. <laughs> Ooh, that could be me or um, Christmas like they've got to make socks for all the family members hi Shannon so they might not be able to do it so there might not be as many people to match up I'm I've been bad I I'm sorry if you sent an email and I haven't responded to you um, maybe after lunch I can get on the laptop it's just it's been crazy yeah um, remember how I told you that I was taking all of my scrap yarn that was left over from the various Timu kits and I was going to make a project called Moo Moo and now I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should just call them Kit instead. Like Moo Moo, you think of a cow and it's not a cow. Well, some people might think it is. I don't know. But here's Moo Moo. I made another giraffe. I embroidered the eyes this time, so it is good for any age. Now, you want to hear about my boo-boo? I was, like I made one leg, then I made the other leg, and then I start sewing things together, and I sewed on one leg, went to sew on the other leg, and it's like, why is this leg longer than the other leg? Then I realized, I was like, this was the first leg I sewed on, but this one went brown, white, pink, white. I did not do all of the rows of the last leg. <laughs> okay. So I tore out the pink and the white on the second leg and made the second leg as short as the first one. But, okay, starting box ending box. I still have enough for another scrap project. <sighs> but first, first I gotta do the laundry and pack the clothes and pack the car, pack the craft, crack bag, pack the craft bag. Yes, I can talk. <sighs> See what I mean? Just one thing at a time. Just calm down. Take a sip of the coffee, which is very good this morning. It's vanilla coffee and de vanilla decaf. And I added some vanilla syrup for sweetening because it just, even with the creamer in, I like it a little sweeter. Okay. So between the various chores today, I'm going to get on the laptop and retype my list and make a 
priority list of what I need to do today. Probably put that in red, change the font color to red for those. Um, I want to make a few new items for this, not new items. I want to restock some items because I noticed at last Saturday's show, I only had three emotional support pickles left in the jar and none of them had eyes. So I need to make some more emotional support pickles with eyes. And I noticed, oh dear, there, is, there was a free pattern on Instagram for a little elephant. The, with worst of weight yarn, it, it's not yay big. Um, I think it was no so. And eventually I will put the pattern, pattern link. That's the word I'm looking for. I stayed up too late last night. I had a John Grisham um, audiobook on my tablet. Years ago, I read the book, The Firm, and then I saw at the library that they there was a follow-up book to it called The Exchange, I think. I got the library book out, but then I got busy and I could only have the library book for three weeks. And over the course of three weeks, I only read like you know, three chapters. So someone else was waiting for the book. I had to return it. I'm like, let's just see if it's on an audio book. That way I can be crocheting and listening to it at the same time. Did that. Finished that up. I was so close to finishing it up. And the whole thing revolves around a hostage situation. It's like, I've got to find out. I've got to find out. Is this the hostage? What, what happens? What happens with the hostage? So I stayed up to almost midnight to finish up the book last night. And then what was I? I was up at 6.45, 7 this morning. So it's afternoon and I'm still working on my coffee. Good thing I've got a Yeti cup to keep it warm. So, before I went down that rabbit trail, I was saying I will eventually have the pattern for the elephant in the description. But I don't have many of those elephants made up. So I'd like to get a few of those made. That could be like my um, travel project for the ride down. Making little elephants. Uh, Da, 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 da. So today is going to be a lot of little fill-in projects as I work on the stuff that has to be done for, for this weekend's craft show. Um, I can't just sit in my chair and play with yarn all day. I will be loading the car and once laundry is done and I have clean clothes to pack, I'll be setting out the outfits for that and just little things. My husband was up in the attic to get a suitcase for us. And he says, there's a bag up here that says size seven and 12 flower girl dresses. Do you want that? And at first I thought, oh, well, yeah, maybe I can put it on the buy nothing group. Then I went, wait a minute. Seven and 12, my oldest two granddaughters could probably wear those as matching dresses and be like, okay, these are the dresses that mommy and Aunt Candace wore. I think it, I can't remember. I think it was for my sister's wedding, but I'm not sure. I don't know where these dresses came from. Oh. I know that the two girls wore them, but I don't remember what the occasion was. The smaller one had some stains on it. But I treated it with stain stick and washed it. And even though it's got like fancy ribbon and little flowers sewn on all over the place, I washed it on gentle and it, the, the stains seem to have come out. And right now it's hanging up to dry. So I don't know whether to like send a picture to my daughter and say, hey, we found these in the attic. Do you want them for the girls? Or just show up with them and say, hey girls, you want some dresses? Yeah, you can 
Matchy, matchy. I'll probably do that. Probably just take them along and say, here you go. They like dressing up in princess dresses and fancy dresses and stuff like that. So I think it would be quite cute. So I never did get around to starting that kit for the banana duck that I was looking at yesterday. It's up by my chair, but this guy got all of my attention. Last night, all I had left to do was one leg which you can tell how well I did because I must have been tired because I left off two colors. And these thingies, which on the pattern say horns, but these are actually called ossicones. I looked that up this morning. I googled, what are those things, horns on giraffes called? Ossicones. Okay. So I that's all I had left to do. And I thought, oh, I will get this done. I'll have this done by like 9 o'clock in the morning and get them all sewed together. And by like 10 o'clock, I can do a video. I didn't finish till afternoon. Now it's like 1230. And I need to go have some lunch. And let's see. What are we having for dinner? Tonight's going to be a simple dinner. My husband's out in the garden picking tomatoes. So he may come in and say, hey, why don't you do some canning? Like, oh no, not another thing to do today. Okay, I need to go get stuff done. Because the sooner I get stuff done, the sooner I can play with yarn. So, bye-bye.